Hi, second grade. I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, last week, we talked about the new vocabulary word subject matter, and we used a tree as our subject matter last week. This week, we're going to use something from a tree, which is a leaf, as our subject matter. And our new vocabulary words for this week are line and shape. And we're going to talk about how we can use those two things to make spectacular works of art. We're going to look first at this artist. Her name is Georgia O'Keeffe, and she's probably most famous for paintings like these of her flowers. Um, and I am a big fan of them, but I'm also a huge fan of her paintings of leaves uh, because fall and autumn is really my favorite time of year. Um, I think it's my favorite because the weather gets a little bit nicer outside, um, but really the trees put on a magical show every year and it's about to happen right outside your window where all those beautiful green leaves change to spectacular colors, reds and oranges and yellows and browns, and they just put on such a beautiful show. So if we take a look at some of these paintings that Georgia O'Keeffe has made, we can see how she really notices the beautiful colors in those leaves in her paintings, but she also has done a really great job of using lines. And if we take a really close look at the outside edge on these paintings, we can see how she's really paying close attention to what the outside edge of that leaf looked like when she was she had it right in front of her. So today, uh, we're gonna focus on a leaf as our subject matter. You could use any of these different kinds of leaves if you want. You could even go outside and get yourself a leaf from, um, you know, that you found just kind of sitting on the ground or maybe you pull a leaf off of a tree and draw it. So you could draw from observation um, or you can use the photograph of a maple leaf that I'm going to use today. We're going to need a sketchbook and your pencil today. So if you could go ahead and get those things and meet me back here. Okay guys, so I'm going to use this photograph of a maple leaf. Like I said before, you can use that photograph with me or you can get your own leaf from outside. I'm actually going to start off with the stem of the leaf and I'm just going to come down and it kind of, if you notice, it kind of goes out a little bit and then it comes back up and goes a little bit to a point. This then comes out and I'm going up the middle vein of the leaf. And I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna make this really nice and big so I have large sections to draw in. Then I'm gonna to touch right about here and go out for the right vein of the leaf and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then there are two more that come down and down. So it kind of looks like an umbrella that lost all of its pieces. Okay. From here, I'm just going to start to go right about here. And I'm going to come out. I notice it has a little bump. And then it goes back in and back up again. And I kind of like to pretend that my eye is like a little ant that is crawling all around the outside edge of the leaf. And my eyes are really focused right now on that photo. I'm trying to get it as close as I can. And I notice this should probably curve up this way on that little guy. And then I'm gonna come up and I'm just gonna keep drawing as I go all the way around the outside edge of the leaf. And if I ever go too fast, guys, remember you can just pause the video and then catch up with me. Sometimes I don't realize I'm going a little bit faster and I have one more. It's almost like the little ma the little mouse, the little ant is climbing up mountains here. I'm just gonna keep going, going, going. 
Okay, so I'm almost all the way down and around the other side. This is quite a lot of bumps in this leaf. My goodness, I didn't realize when I first looked at it, but it does have a lot of bumps. Okay, so now I'm just gonna fix things that I missed a little bit. And when I look really closely at the photo, I also noticed that a lot of these um, little points here and there, they have um, other veins kind of separating the sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that because that's gonna help me with the next part. So the next thing I'm going to do is fill all of these different sections up with different kinds of lines. And I'm gonna give you um, a little helpful paper and I'll put it up on the screen now so that you can see it. And this will help you um, think of different kinds of lines. But if you have your own, that's awesome. And you can use ones out of your own head too, okay? I'm gonna speed up the video so that we can start adding those lines in. Okay, second grade, so here is my finished leaf drawing. You may have noticed that today I was drawing with a marker. That was just so that you could see a little bit better um, on the video. Uh, if you have a marker though and you wanna draw with one, you can, otherwise you can just use your pencil. I filled in all my different spaces with different types of lines and shapes. Some of them I saw on the worksheet that I had up and others I just made up as I was going along. You also have the option, if you would like to, to add color to this. You can see this is one that I added um, yellows and reds and greens to um, in the background. So if you want to add color, you can definitely do that with your crayons. Um, and uh, by the way, I pressed very lightly with my crayons so I could still see my lines. Or you can just leave it with pencil or the marker. It is up to you because you are the artist. I look forward to seeing your work. You submit your drawings on Google Classroom, and I will see you all next week. Have a great day.